Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Airbus grabs minority share in C-Series program. Japan's Yoshihide Maroya wins in Indy. And commercial airliner allegedly hits drone in O Canada. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's October 18th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Airbus SE and Bombardier are become partners on the C-Series aircraft program, according to an agreement signed Monday. The agreement brings the power of the Airbus machine with Bombardier's upstart airliner family and probably causes serious heartburn at Boeing. Under the agreement, Airbus will provide procurement, sales, and marketing, and customer support expertise to the C-Series Aircraft Limited Partnership. Upon completion, Airbus will acquire a 50.01% interest in CSALP. Bombardier and Investissement Quebec will own approximately 31% and 19% respectively. CSALP's headquarters and primary assembly line and related functions will remain in Quebec. Airbus Global Industrial Footprint will expand with the final assembly line in Canada and additional C-Series production at Airbus Manufacturing Site in Alabama. The single aisle market is a key growth driver, representing 70% of the expected global future demand for the aircraft. Ranging from 100 to 150 seats, the C-Series is highly complementary to Airbus' existing single aisle aircraft portfolio, which focuses on the high higher end of the single aisle business, 150 to 240 seats. And one of the most heart-stopping Final Fours in the Red Bull Air Race history, Yoshihide Maroya won the final stop on the Red Bull Air Race circuit and with a win in Indianapolis this weekend, overcame a four-point lead held by Martin Sonka to claim the 2017 World Championship. It was an extremely tense affair in the Final Four with Maroya flying first. He not only flew the perfect run, but he also beat the track record by more than a second. His time of 103.026 was going to be tough to beat, and Martin Sonka had a long wait. Dolja flew second and was never going to catch his friend. He was behind in every split and finished 2.52 O's behind Moroya. Velarde also couldn't topple him and was even slower than Dolja. This meant that Sanka knew exactly what he had to do. But it was a terrible run for the Czech pilot. He stalled in the vertical turning maneuver and lost more than four seconds in time, finishing fourth in the final four and handing the title to Maroya. Maroya makes history by becoming the first Red Bull Air Race World Champion from Asia. After the break, commercial airliner allegedly hits drone in Canada. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at earl-news.net. On October 12, 2017, a Skyjet flight was reportedly struck by a drone while inbound to Jean Lesage International Airport in Quebec City. This is the first time a drone has hit a commercial aircraft in Canada, according to a statement from the Honorable Marc Gourneau, Canada's Minister of Transport. The aircraft was only slightly damaged and landed safely, according to the Canadian government. 
Transport Canada is monitoring the situation and is in contact with its transportation partners, including Skyjet, the Jean Lesage International Airport, and Nav Canada, said Minister Garneau. My department is in contact with the Service du Police de la Ville de Quebec, and we will cooperate with the Transportation Safety Board should they decide to investigate. Anyone who violates regulations could be subject to fines of up to $25,000 and or prison. This applies to drones of any size used for any purpose. All airports, helipads, and seaplane bases are no drone zones. If you do not have permission from Transport Canada, Transport Canada encourages all drone users to learn about the rules and to consult with the wide variety of educational tools available on its website. Very little verifiable evidence has been reported at this time to verify the actual collision, but we'll keep you informed. With some 2,000 aerial TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite aerial TV classic episodes. So since last year, we've got a lot more customers flying the product. Um, and We've learned a lot more about what the customers want. Send Solutions, David Gray spends time at AEA 2017 with the ANN News Crew, detailing some exciting communications options. Search Inside AEA 2017, Send Solutions, David Gray, on Aerial TV's news channel. After the break, Blue Angels to perform at Wings Over North Georgia Air Show. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Rome, Georgia will serve as the homecoming site for several of the U.S. Navy Blue Angels pilots and crew members. The Wings Over North Georgia Air Show will take place on October 21st through 22nd at the Russell Regional Airport. The military flight demonstration team appeared at more than 35 cities during 2017. Aurora Flight Sciences has been awarded a 12-month contract from NASA for continued development of the company's subsonic XD-8. The XD-8 is designed to demonstrate the key enabling technologies of the D-8 commercial aircraft concept, which could yield substantial fuel, noise, and operational efficiency improvements within the next decade. Supersonic business jets could become the ultimate time machines, according to Ernie Edwards, Senior Vice President and Chief Commercial Officer at Arion Corporation, which is in design and development phases for the supersonic business jet AS2. Edwards believes demand for supersonic business jets will be about 600 aircraft over the next 20 years. Beginning January 1st, 2018, the FAA require newly designed aircraft to be quieter. Called Stage 5 Airplane Noise Standards, this FAA rule ensures that the latest available noise reduction technology is incorporated into new aircraft designs. As a result, new airplane type designs in the subsonic jet airplanes and subsonic transport category, large airplanes will operate at least 7 decibels quieter than airplanes in the current fleet. 
After sitting on the sidelines for much of the season, the global super tanker, a Boeing 747, converted into a firefighting aircraft, has been seeing service in California since September. In the recent round of fires in Napa Valley, the tanker has been operating out of the McClellan Air Park, one of 12, using the airport as a base of operations for refueling and taking on fire retardant. Well, that's it. For today's trip around the patch, now let's get back to the rest of the news. Advanced Aero Components has acquired the Glass Air 2 and 3 assets from Glass Air Aviation. This includes all tooling, parts, inventory, and intellectual property related to the Glass Air 2 and Glass Air 3. Advanced Aero Components CEO Ian Baker reports that the customer support to more than 2,000 existing builders and owners will continue into the future for all existing Glass Air 2 and 3 aircraft. Glass Air 2 and 3 aircraft will soon be re-released as updated kit aircraft and will incorporate all of the existing modifications that Advanced Aero Components already offers the current Glass Air range of aircraft. The updated Glass Air 2 and 3 will be visibly and aerodynamically cleaner all over as well as lighter weight to bring the kit to a more competitive place in the market. The new kits will simply be known as the G2 and G3 under the Advanced Aero Components banner. Also, new kit orders will be available in an all-infused carbon fiber pre-molded kit, creating a much lighter and stronger airframe while reducing build time significantly. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily, Monday through Friday, for additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, you know what to do. Please subscribe. And do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest in aviation and, yes, aerospace stories. Anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.